Greetings to all parishioners of Our Lady Queen of Angels here in Newport Beach. I wish I could be out on Sunday with you, shaking hands, hearing all the stories of your life and, and your faith, but we are physically distant from each other. But in case you're not sure where I am, we're in, I think, the most magnificent, magnificent Eucharistic Chapel in all of Orange County. Uh, it's a great place for prayer and meditation. It's a beautiful, austere, but magnificent place to pray in the presence of Jesus. Um, I'd like to just share with you a couple ideas about Holy Week, which is coming up in a few days, beginning with Palm Sunday, going through Holy Thursday, Good Friday, into Easter. I think for a lot of us, we already feel like we're in the tomb. We're isolated or we're separated. And it's really hard, I think, even with people of great faith to kind of move from isolation to an experience of solitude. And that's just a whole different way of embracing whatever our current reality is. That's a tough place to go, but our liturgies call us to that. And so I'm inviting you uh, with your families or yourself, however you can be virtual as we come into Holy Week, first of all, to Palm Sunday. We have lots of great ideas. We want to have a drive-by, pick up your palms, um, but you know, great wisdom uh, from one of our parishioners who's a head of infectious diseases at UCI said, Father, I know what you want to do. It's not a good idea. So I took his wisdom and we're going to hold those palms until the day we come back into church and celebrate Pentecost together. Uh, but go out in your backyard and find a branch. If you don't have any palm branches, that's great. Just get any green branch and bring it in and lay it there with you uh, in front of maybe on a table or a prayer place on the Palm Sunday liturgy. Just to invite you to share in that in a physical way. Holy Thursday, the great mandatum, which is Jesus is called to service. Let the one who is to be the greatest serve the least. Well, here's a great opportunity to wash each other's feet at home. Now, I know you got to be physically distant, but if you're living together with family, you're already kind of bumping into each other. So find a beautiful bowl, a couple towels, a little warm water, pour a little perfume in it so it smells good. And at that part of the liturgy, if you join us, uh, wash each other's feet. We'll give you a little time for that to happen. It's a great act of service and love and affection for each other. Good Friday. Every Catholic has a cross somewhere in their house. Maybe if it's even a cross at the end of your rosary, somewhere you have a cross, find it. Lay it out there with you on the day that you come and celebrate it, saying Good Friday at noon to reflect on the passion and the death of Jesus. We're all going to be there. Uh, the three priests will be there to venerate the cross. You venerate your cross, the cross of Jesus Christ in your home. What a great way to experience the wood of the cross. We're going to do a modified version of the Easter Vigil. If you've never been to an Easter Vigil before, this will be your first and hopefully not last time. We're going to do a modified version, but we're going to have the Easter fire, the lighting of the Easter candle, a little procession into church, and then we will celebrate the sacred mysteries in the late night. So all of these things bring us ultimately out of the tomb to resurrection. The first resurrection, it was a scary thing. Nobody quite was sure what was really happening. The disciples who had traveled with Jesus, they were confident that he was a Messiah, and then it came to the Passion and the tomb experience, and they became uncertain and afraid. That's kind of maybe where a lot of us might be right now. But in time, the disciples found courage, and they found courage because they had the strength and the faith of each other and the gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. That's what we long for. That's what we embrace to experience the risen Christ, even while we're in the tomb of our homes, our apartments, our condos. So let us continue to pray together. We will pray for you. If there are needs that you have or anybody you want us to pray for, please send those in and we'll pick those up uh, through our website or our email here at the parish. And we will pray for all of those loved ones that you desire us to pray for in those liturgies. May God bless you and keep you in this most holy of weeks to come. God bless you all.